Why hello there, Anxious Cynic back again with another Minimator tutorial. Yes, that's right. Bet you didn't think you'd see one of these again, did ya? So anyway, we're gonna learn how to do this. So this topic was requested by someone in the comments. So remember, if you want to see other tutorials from me in the future, make sure you leave a comment. Leave a comment on this video saying what you want a tutorial on. The more detail you are as to what you want shown and what you want to know, the better. Uh, but let's get into it. So basically, as you can see, we have a default scene already set up. We've got Steve, he's gonna walk over to the horse and he does a little, I'm making this in, in kind of a Minecraft style here. So he's just gonna do the wave and pop up onto the horse. Obviously you could do more detail, like an actual animation where he jumps up on the horse and stuff, but I didn't think that was really necessary for this tutorial. So we're just gonna go with the usual default Minecraft style. All right, so to get Steve onto the horse, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in a new Steve character. If this one that I have wasn't animated already, then, uh, you know, could have just done that. But it was animated, so we didn't, I mean, by do that, I mean duplicate. <laughs> All right, so what we wanna do is take the second Steve and let me go ahead and drop that down. Uh, we wanna parent him to the horse's body. Now, the body of the horse is animated, especially when you do the default walk cycle animation. So we want that to be to the body so that Steve will follow the motion of the horse. So let's go ahead and drop down the body options for the horse here and we're gonna go ahead and pose Steve. He was not keyframed when I did that earlier. So we're just gonna kind of put him there on default and I'm just gonna pose him very similarly to Minecraft. Again, I don't know if this is exactly how Minecraft poses, cause I've seen it a million times, but I never retain the information. So we're just gonna put his leg out about 30 degrees there. And let's do that 30 degrees here. And then we're just going to position him down onto the saddle. Let's make that about negative six. And now he is sitting and I don't know, I'll bring him back on the saddle just a tad. So there's our basic poses and he is there the whole time. We don't want that. So what we're gonna do is at the very beginning of the timeline here, we're gonna set a keyframe and we're gonna tell Steve on the horse to be invisible. So then when this Steve gets up here, right about when he's in his little wave there, let's see what we got going on here. He goes like that, that's the height of the thing, right about there. So I guess that'll be frame 60. That's when we want Steve to become visible. So I could just move that keyframe, but I accidentally created one. So I'm just gonna delete that one. Wave and there. And then once he's appearing at this keyframe, this Steve is going to disappear. Just like so. Boop. All right, and I'm not liking that. I think his arm should come down a little bit further before he disappears. So maybe that, maybe that. Seems okay to me. All right, so bada bing, bada boom. Steve is on the horse now. Very Minecrafty, kind of popping into different positions style animation. So with that done, I'm going to collapse the uh, Steve options here and we're gonna focus on the horse for a moment. I'm gonna create a couple of keyframes. Let's go ahead and say maybe it's frame 70. I'm hitting the control Q shortcut to uh, create keyframes on the selected timeline. And at this point, I'm gonna want the horse to take off. He's gonna take off running. And so we're gonna set another keyframe so far away, select the first one, highlight it, and we're gonna make him do a run cycle. So then we get this. And as you can see, Steve is rocking back and forth because he is parented to the horse's body, not to the main root object. All right, so one thing we may wanna do here is instead of having Steve sitting there like a dead fish, we're gonna have him reach up and grab the horse's reins. So let's bind his arms. Here we go. I'm a little bit rusty at my animator, isn't that something? Okay, and so maybe in this point in time, after he's on it for a few frames, let's just say about four, then he's gonna reach up 
and grab the reins. So maybe about there. And we'll just go ahead and rotate both up about that far. And then you're gonna have to select them individually and bring them in like so. Kind of get an eyeball of where those reins are. It looks a bit too far for that one, okay. And then we're gonna go down onto the horse's neck and there's the reins, all right. So Steve's arms come up right about there. And let's say the reins are kind of in a bit of a position there, a bit lower. So let's go ahead and take the body and do similarly, not the head but the body and we're going to offset that just a tad there and have them reach down and then come up so we're going to set a couple more oops some more keyframes there and so he reaches down and then this is when he's going to lean back up maybe we'll actually keep him lean forward just a tad let's just say 13 degrees there and bring the arms up like so maybe about negative 15 oh nope that was the wrong one <laughs> whoops okay negative 60 how about that that seems like a good number all right do do and we're gonna set keyframes for the reins let me you know what i'm gonna actually expand this up God. So with our reins selected, we're going to go ahead and rotate them up a bit to match Steve's arm placements. So he's kind of holding on to them, the very tippy tips. So there you go, something like that. All right, now this isn't going to be perfect animation. We're kind of speeding through this for the sake of the tutorial. It's going to end up longer than it probably needs to anyway. But what we want to do is just kind of have it look like he's riding the horse. I honestly don't know if in Minecraft they show this, like him holding the reins. I need to check that. Seems like they would. Anyway, <laughs> um, so basically you've got all you need, but we're just going to try to mimic the movement of the horse here. So that's like that. And so maybe we'll take the body, enable the position by dropping that down. Kind of feel like it should maybe come down a tad maybe negative 0.25 and then it'll come back up right here and uh probably have to lean forward a bit like so and then the arms I'm going to let's say put a keyframe there so they don't move on that motion we just have the body kind of going down and then on this one they're gonna come up and then on this last frame maybe come back down a tad and then the body goes back just a tad and then that means we have to correct the arm positions a little bit so let's see what that looks like picks them up okay and then so we should be good there we should be able, let's see if we can make anything go wrong here, to copy these keyframes over. But I think, let me double check here, uh, the neck has some transitioning right there. This, so these keyframes need to copy that same quadratic ease in. There we go. And this actually, let's go ahead and get rid of that. These are the ones that we want to copy over. Me tinks, let's see. Okay, that's wrong because uh, our arms were not in the right position. So let's just go ahead and copy this over and match those keyframes up with the horse's movements. And then here we can Go ahead and figure out what those need to be. All right, so at this point, the body needs to come back a bit more and the arms down just a bit. Maybe that's too far back for the body. Something like that. There we go. And make sure these are back to linear. 
you may want to do other transitions, but I'm just trying to match these up at the moment. So with that set, we should be able to copy these keyframes and then just match them with the horse keyframes. Now that's obviously not going to look good because he stops, but and there you go. So what we end up with, oh, hang on. We want to be able to see the scene. There we go. Let's actually uh, click the right thing here for a, a moment if I can possibly manage it. And we're going to watch. He comes up. Boop. He's on the horse and he starts running. There you go, man. Look at that. So that's pretty much it, but just for the hell of it, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of uh, head animation. Like, obviously, th there's a lot that could be done to improve this, but I just want to see if we can give a little bit of uh, motion to the head here. So when he comes forward, we want the head to be going back a bit. Now, he does need to be looking up more but uh let's try that and then when he's coming down something like so and then we basically just want to kind of maintain his attempt to continue looking forward Something like that. Now, I, I, I want to like do some inertia, kind of, you know, when the horse is going back like this, his head needs to kind of come down more. So some of these I can see his head's kind of staying up too long. like this one so maybe right about there the horse is coming up so his head goes down more now you can see a little bit there i'm not going to spend too much time trying to perfect that but you can see what we end up with is it's a little bit more realistic motion to the head from the movement of the horse and that's what we want that's what you get that's gonna do it Thanks for watching. Again, hope it was helpful. If you want to see other tutorials, uh, make sure you comment them in the, the, the comments of this video. Or whatever. Because I don't know if I'll come up with ideas for tutorials unless you guys tell me what you want to see, since I feel like I've done pretty much everything. Okay, bye.